Welcome back here to the Hill on News Nation. It is Military Appreciation Month, and for the first time ever, the city of Miami is hosting Fleet Week with five ships currently docked in Port Miami. It is a time for the military to show off its best and perhaps tackle the issue, ongoing issue of military recruitment. The Cuban American singer, Grammy Award winner, Presidential Medal of Freedom recipient Gloria Estefan is a big part of the festivities this week. She joins us live here on the Hill alongside Kathy Roth Duque, who is the CEO of Blue Star Families. Hello to you both. Thank you for being here. Uh, Gloria, as a, as a kid who grew up in the 305 and went to Palmetto High School, it is nice to speak with you. Tell me about, the, ooh, yeah, exactly. T tell me about what, what brought you to Fleet Week and what you're trying to do. Well, first of all, welcome to the party. We're here celebrating our amazing <laughs> troops that, you know, give so much for our country and to us. I'm an Army brat, so I know exactly what military families go through. And by the way, Happy birthday to Blue Star Families, Our Kathy. Happy birthday, too. Thank um, you. We're cool. here to give them a big Miami welcome. It was cooler yesterday. It's got a little warm now. What 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 drew you to this, Gloria? Uh, I mean, I, look, I know my, my friends down there in Miami have been sending me pictures and videos of all the Fleet Week stuff. It, it, it looks awesome. Uh, but I, I'm wondering what, what brought you to this and, 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 what, and what you're trying to amplify. I'll tell you. Well, it's uh, the Secretary of the Navy, Carlos del Toro, is Cuban. And we have made a really close friendship through the past few months. And uh, he invited me to welcome the troops. And who better than a Miami native, an immigrant whose father yeah. served in the military. And, you know, that I want to celebrate all these amazing people that put their lives on the line for us, that sacrifice so much, as well as the families that are right there with them. So I just wanted to be yeah. here to say thank you. Thank you, thank you to the troops. And, and Kathy, it's so important for us to introduce yeah. our troops. And, and Miami doesn't often see them. So to, to take our folks, this speaks to the recruiting crisis you were talking about. When you get to see how amazing these people are and what an important mission they're on, we invite everyone in Miami to come on out to the ships and see what we do. It, it inspires service, not just in the Navy or the Marine Corps or the Coast Guard, but throughout the whole country. Yeah, Kathy, there is, you know, there is a um, an ongoing effort to, to boost recruitment. And what, and what is stuff like this? What, what do events like this, Fleet Week in a, in a new area, in a new town? I mean, not in New York, but but down at, at Port Miami. How does that help? Yeah, Blake, it's in the center of it because we see one of the reasons recruitment goes down is because people who serve in the military can feel isolated. But when they get a big welcome in a community, it, it encourages them to recommend service to other people. Plus, they are so inspiring. They're so squared away. And it might make people who never thought about the military be able to see themselves in one of these outstanding young people here today. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and it, I took it, my know, family on the ship. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I was just going to ask you. I mean, no one knowing a lot about you from, from being born and raised in Miami. I, I feel like I know a lot about you. But I, I didn't know that your, you know, you, that your, fa your father's service and, and how that influenced you. Absolutely. You know, it's tough for the families, but all the families are behind their mil uh, the military a thousand percent. We need the military, you know, in this country. And I, I think when people come and see what they do, see the ships, uh, I saw so many different nationalities on that ship today serving. We also got yeah. to do a naturalization ceremony on the Bataan. Hmm. And it always, uh, you know, makes me really emotional to see so many people that love this country and that support it and i think when people see what our military does uh, then just see them on the news i think it really brings it home and, and can i just say gloria stefan the queen of pop she's a military <laughs> kid and when military yeah. kids can see themselves in her that's super motivating so it means so much just that you're here thank you very much i i i i hear uh Avicii playing behind you, Gloria. I feel like I'm 28 back at Live Again, yes. but that's a story for another day. Uh, Gloria, <laughs> Stefan, Absolutely. Kathy Roth Duque. <laughs> Kathy Roth Duque, thank you both for being here. Enjoy the festivities down there. Fleet Week in Miami. Thank, thank you, you both. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.